Hi guys, I want to have quite a serious chat with you today. This week, as many of you will know, Sam Pepper released a video where he was pinching girls bottoms with a fake hand, which was actually his own hand. The world was in uproar about it. And then he released a second video where girls were doing the same to boys, and then in a third video he said that it was just a social experiment. I think a lot of people are torn between whether or not he was just backtracking and it's a fake apology and that was just an excuse or if it really was a social experiment. And I think either way, I don't think it matters what you believe, what he's done is hopefully a good thing even if it was with the wrong intentions originally. I think it has been the awareness of sexually abusing women like that. People have realised that it's not just a joke, that it can't be handled like that. And it was good to see that so many people were in uproar, male and female. I want to discuss my experiences and unfortunately I use the term experiences, not just experience. The first experience that I can remember was when I was in sixth form. And the thing with all of these experiences, well not all of them, they're a couple, but with most of these experiences, such as this one, is that I let the guy do it. I just thought that it was the norm, it was acceptable. When I was in sixth form, there was a guy called Mark. I remember vividly he would often have his hands in my bra. And this was in the common room or the computer room where all the other sixth formers were. And in my head, I don't know what I was doing, I was stupid, I was letting him do it. And all of these people could see him do it. I didn't want to kick up a fuss, because if I kicked up a fuss, I didn't know what he would do. I didn't know if he would be angry, and if I did kick up a fuss, then he liked me. That was a good thing in my head. <laughs> and then a year after that, I started dating a guy called Matt that only lasted a couple of weeks. But I'd never kissed anybody before. I'd been dating Matt for about a week and he was getting really impatient with me at the fact that I'd not kissed him yet. So then one day we went over to the park, though I didn't think there was anybody else around, and we were kissing and automatically he took my hand and placed it in his crotch and I could feel his erection coming on. I was like, this is the first time I'd kissed a boy and I'd got to experience that as well. And again, I let him do it. I kept my hand there because it meant that he liked me. I didn't want him to get annoyed with me. A few years later, there was a time where I refused to have sex with somebody and so they pushed me up against the wall and wouldn't let me out of the, the house. Now, admittedly, Three seconds later, he realised what he was doing and he was extremely apologetic. But then, for the next six months to a year, he would send me horrible messages, either on Facebook or text messaging, saying that I was a bitch, that I was a, a tease. I didn't accept that one. I, I went and published these text messages or Facebook messages on Facebook. And then he got really angry at me for doing it. and. He wouldn't talk to me for ages and then I'd get upset and I'd end up apologising. When I was about 24 and I was walking to work, I lived on a really nice new housing estate and I was walking to work and the estate is probably about two miles long till you get to the end of it and this paper boy, who was only about 13, followed me all the way around the estate. He didn't go off to any of the other streets to post any of the newspapers he had in his bag, he just followed me all the way around the estate and he kept trying to talk to me from the other side of the road but I'd got my headphones in so I couldn't really hear him and then I got to the end of estate, the estate which joins onto a busy road he asked me for the time so I stopped and I gave him the time and then he said do you want to see something and I was like no not really but then he whipped out his penis and grabbed my boob and I was very shaken by that I went home and um, the only time I've ever seen my dad truly, truly, truly angry was when I told him this story and he wanted to go and find this paper boy and I don't know, he wasn't going to tick him off, I can tell you that. The police found this kid, they arrested him, it went to court, I didn't have to go and then I got compensation of £30 and I wasn't bothered that I was only getting £30, I was just bothered that he only had to pay £30, he didn't have any other, as far as I'm aware, he didn't have any other punishment other than to pay me £30, 
And then comes Rich the Dick. He didn't do anything terrible, except for he would only ever want sex at 3am in the morning and only ever from behind. And that just made me feel really bad all the time because he wouldn't have it in the daylight, he wouldn't have it facing me and he was just very, very aggressive with it. The way it made me feel wasn't right but I wouldn't say anything to him because he liked me and if I said anything it would probably make him angry. Do you see the cycle that's going on now? Now all of this made the start of my relationship with Andrew a little bit awkward. Andrew is the perfect gentleman, he has never done anything wrong to me. And so at the start of the relationship where he wants to take things slowly, I was expecting him to be like Matt at the start of my story. I expected him to take my hand and put it on his crotch the first time we were kissing. And he didn't do that and I couldn't understand why because every single man that I'd been with or had some sort of experience with treated me wrongly, badly, and Andrew didn't. And it took me a long time to realise actually he's a good guy. but. Originally, I was like, oh, why isn't he doing this? Doesn't he like me? Because I'd always thought that, oh, when men do that, that means they like me. And that is a very warped way of thinking about things. And so I think now is the time to try and get as many voices heard, as many videos, tweets, Facebook comments. <laughs> we should be shouting this. We should be saying, it's not okay to do this. Why are you doing this to me? Stop. It just seems to be acceptable and women don't talk about it. I'm a very open person so when I tell my female friends about it and they say oh yeah actually this happened to me and I've not told anybody about it thanks for sharing your experiences I hear it so often and it is pissing me off. Men you've got to stop it. Women you've got to stop accepting it. I can't believe that it's taken me all these years to be with somebody like Andrew and realise that it doesn't have to happen. It's taken me this long to see Sam Pepper's video and realise it doesn't have to happen. It's taken me this long to see Emma Watson's UN speech to realise it doesn't have to happen. And I want you to share this video with as many people as possible so that I can start shouting about it, so that you can start shouting about it and just stop it.